These are the adjustable head straps for Oculus Quest 2. They come in a large and small version, and the difference here is the back side. The large version has more back support. The setup is the same for both head straps, so I will show you how to do it on the large one. First, remove your current head strap by uh, pulling off the facial interface. Then pull the strap out. Now pull off the covers at the sides. Be careful not to use too much force here. All you need to do is grab the bag as pointed here, then slightly tilt the cover and it should pop right off. Do this for the other side too. Then grab the other head strap. It comes disassembled, but assembling it is easy. First, take notice of the left and right icon so you know which side goes where. Then, this is how it should look like. The small piece is on the outside. Put the large piece on first, then close it with the small piece. That's all. Now do it with the other side too. Then you can hook it up to your quest. Make sure to cover the front first, then push it in until it clicks. Do it for the other side too. Now loop the top strap and place the facial interface back. You can adjust the size of the strap with the knob at the back and the velcro at the top before you pull it on your head. And that's it. To demount this strap, do the same as we've shown you in the first step by pulling off the cover. Have fun! What's up everybody, I'm Daniel from Glisco, and today I want to show you one of our awesome products, the Magni Stock for the Oculus Quest 2. So this specific stock is made to align your controllers perfectly inside of VR. So when you're using two-handed weapons like assault rifles, uh, SM or LMGs, sniper rifles, bolt action rifles, you're gonna have a perfect alignment and you're no longer gonna have that controller wobble, which of course is gonna affect your game. So one of the main features of this product is the lightweight. Now when you're playing VR for a very long time, you're not gonna wanna hold something heavy because it's gonna become a big strain to you. Now, this product is made out of ultra light carbon fiber. So carbon fiber is extremely light yet extremely strong. And the rest of it is either 3D printed or some nuts and bolts. So that's gonna allow you to have extremely light products, but also very versatile. So when you're playing, you're gonna wanna remove your hands from the stock, right? So to, to be able to do that, we have magnets installed on this product and that's gonna allow you to lock in whenever you need to, when you wanna uh, grab a two-handed weapon, or if you wanna throw a grenade, or um, reload your weapon, or you know pick up a pistol, or pick, pick up a knife, then you're not gonna have a problem with that, because of course, you could release uh, with the high-strength neodymium magnets. So these magnets are extremely strong, and they need to be because when you're blindfolded with the VR headset, you'll be able to hover right over and just drop right back in. Another great feature of this product is the cheek rest. 
Now this cheek rest is gonna allow you to rest your face on it and, and allow you to look down the sights when you're firing a weapon. And here you can see we're adjusting the thumb knob, which allows us to change the position of the cheek rest. Another really cool feature is having the ability to adjust the angle of the controller. And now we again loosen the thumb knob, which allows us to change the position of the controller depending on our weapon. Again, you do have the ability to adjust these uh, hand positions depending on your size and your, uh, how comfortable you feel with the stock. So you can move these uh, forward and back with just a slight turn of the knob. Of course, you are grabbing a single-handed weapon or a knife or a grenade and you wanna drop the stock, you do have the ability to do that. Now you attach the two point sling to the rail hook and the stock cavity. I'm gonna put the sling around my right shoulder because I'm right handed. And again, I wanna have the sling right close here um, in between my body and the stock itself. So I could have, you know, I could be aiming, let go. And now here we go, the stock is in the perfect position and I could walk right back in, let go, right? If this was on the opposite side here, right? The problem is this thing's gonna want to flip over. It's gonna want to flip around. Um, our dragon skin cups do have a special TPU insert inside of them that protect your controller from any damage. Now let's we'll jump into the firing range.
let's go ahead and take our thumb screw and screw it inside the stock cavity. Now it's important to note the side you want to place it on because if you're right-handed, you may want to have it away from your face. Next, we're going to take our Phillips head screw and place it inside the stock cavity with the nut holding in place. I'm going to lightly screw it in very, very lightly, just so it grabs. Now take your carbon fiber tube and push it inside the stock cavity. Just a little bit, not too far. And there's a little window there. I'll go ahead and tighten down very lightly. Next, put the bolt through your adjustable clamp and take a wing nut and screw it on to the other side just very lightly. Take another bolt and put it through the top of the rail clamp and through a rail magnet and another wing nut on the opposite side. And it's important to note the side you're putting the wing nuts on right now because I'm putting on the right side because I'm right-handed. Now tighten down very lightly. Next, you're gonna take your small Phillips screw and put it through the coupling just on one side. And the same idea, lightly screw it in to grab the nut. And again, lightly screw it into one side of the carbon tube. And you're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Lightly screw it in just to grab, push the other tube in and alternate between tightening the sides until you get a snug fit. Do not over tighten this. Now you're gonna take your rail hook and slide it on. So I like to have the wing nuts the same side as my handedness. So it's gonna be on my left side this time for easy adjustability. Now take your controller cups, they are labeled with a right and a left, and fish your controller shaft through. And this is really important. You wanna press really firmly on the controller when you're pushing it in. So I grab both sides and I, you can see I'm wiggling and pushing down. And do not press on the ring itself, press on the body of the controller. You can see here I'm doing it with the right side. Again, do not press on the ring, just press on the body of the controller. The Magni stock is compatible with the Oculus Quest 2, Oculus Quest, Rift S, Rift, HTC Vive, and the Valve Index. If you'd like to purchase the Magni stock, you can purchase it at www.calisco.com. As always, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe below, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the future. From oqplay.com, and today we're checking out the Aligo gun covers for the Oculus Quest 2. This is a replica gun cover that gives you the sense of using pistols in games like Pistol Whip or Super Hot, for example, or any other gun sort of game, and uh, just turns your controller into a pistol, basically. So I'm not quite sure why people want to do this, if I'm honest, because you can't see this. Um, so it's really good for like videos if you're doing YouTube videos or um, streams and you want your controllers to look like pistols if you're using a, if you're playing a game such as like Robo Recall or Pistol Whip or just generally any sort of game that requires pistols basically. So we've got the pistol cover fitted on our right controller. Let's just go through the motions of how to install it on our other controller. Right, so here we have the Aligo VR game gun for the Oculus Quest 2. Um, we've already shown it on the right controller. And now I'm going to show you just generally how to um, install it on the left controller. And here is the actual elements that comes with it. So it comes in three parts. 
It's very simple to uh, put it all together. So you just take the actual handpiece first, insert the controller into the actual handpiece. There's, no, there's no other way it can go really. You've got the grip button area, which just basically sits in the little cradle like that. And then you get the sort of the gun piece uh, on these two little ridges here and then it clicks into place. So that's that bit. And then this bit is uh, just basically secures it. So you've got this little slot here and this basically then goes down onto that and then it locks into place. And that's it. So that keeps it from uh, coming out of the handle here. And um, that's the full controller on the left. So you've got left one, right one. And uh, they look pretty cool. Just to look over it quickly, you've got um, the join, obviously. You've got some screw holes here, which would have been nice if they were actually covered up. Uh, on the other side, again, screw hole. Again, that would have been nice if that was covered up. You've got a wrist strap exit hole here so you can actually continue to have the wrist straps on your wrist while still wearing these controllers. And that's pretty much it. I mean, there's a couple of uh, attachment points for the plastic during the process. Would it be nice if they were uh, slightly uh, buffed off or um, you can see them there. Would it be nice if that was maybe recessed more? Uh, but you've got some ergonomic sort of handle bits here for your fingers to go onto. Um, your thumb isn't that restricted because this isn't coming over any further. And it just basically finishes off the look. If you were to look at it from the side, it would almost look fully complete there. If it wasn't for this little gap here. But that's the Aligo VR game gun fitted to our Quest controllers. All right. Right, so we've got them fitted to our controllers for the Quest 2. Uh, they look pretty cool. I think um, if you're definitely streaming or doing a sort of YouTube video or you're doing some sort of promotion in the real world and you're doing a shooting game to promote it, these are definitely pretty cool ways to do that. You can get them black. You can get them in the Quest white color as well. They cost about £18 or just over $20 in the US. Unfortunately, there's no sort of weight. I would like to maybe insert some weights in the top here, uh, just to add some sort of drop weight to make them actually feel more like weapons. Uh, that's the only thing I would probably majorly change on these, but otherwise they're a good novelty. And if you've got someone who just plays pistol whip a lot or, or any other shooting games and you want to give them a bit of a gift, 